Week 8 of the fantasy football season. Here's top 12 defense DST units. I'm ranking this week number one, the New York Jets. And the New York Jets, great matchup at the New York Giants. They had trouble scoring touchdowns all season. One of the worst offensive lines in the league. And also, we don't know if it's going to be Tyrod Taylor or Daniel Jones. But so far, this Jet defense, they've played good quarterbacks. Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts this season. And those guys have had trouble scoring the football and putting points up consistent. So this week here, no matter who the quarterback is for the New York Giants, and a weak offensive line. I think the Shet team goes out there in the battle in New York and has a big ball game. And I got him in one, number two, the Baltimore Ravens. So the Ravens DST has been one of the best units in terms of fantasy points this season. And this week, a great matchup at the Arizona Cardinals. And I have trouble moving the football, especially since James Conner has been out over the last few weeks. So right now, Joshua Dobbs, it looks like he's going to start at least this week. Even if it's Kyla Murray, I don't think Murray will be 100%. And he's another guy that really has trouble being accurate and getting the football out to his wide receivers early and often. So right now, this Baltimore team playing great as a unit. They're holding teams down. They're getting to the quarterback with the sacks. And this week here at Arizona, faster track. And a team getting healthier as well on defense. I got him at two. Number three, the Philadelphia Eagles. So this Eagle defense, we know, is one of the best defensive lines in the league. They beefed up the secondary, getting Bird from the Tennessee Titans, where he's one of the better safeties and underrated safeties as well in the league. And right now, it's going to be versus a commander offensive line. That's a bad offensive line. We saw the Giants last week cause havoc and wreak havoc getting to Sam Howell in that one and not really giving them much time to throw the football. So this week here, Philadelphia, we just saw them play great football versus dynamic and great offense at the, versus the Miami Dolphins. And this week here versus an offense that's not efficient and gives up a lot of sacks. I got them at three, number four, the Kansas City Chiefs. So this Chief defense this season they're playing great football chris jones that's been over he's been going out there getting to the quarterback making plays and the second that he's covering well as well we saw last week versus a good charger offense in the second half giving up no points so this week here versus a denver offense that's trouble scoring the football and this chief team pretty much shut them down a few weeks ago on thursday night football in arrowhead i think they're going to denver once again play good football and put on a good performance at four number five the Miami Dolphins, I know this Dolphin defense, they've been banged up this season. They really haven't put up points, but they're taking advantage of the bad offenses this year. And this week, obviously, Jalen Ramsey and Xavier Howard definitely could be back. Both these guys designated to return sooner or later. And if you get two of those players back, two top 10 corners in the week, that's big time for this Miami Dolphin defense. Last week, we did see a pick six by Baker in that game from Miami, even though they did give up 31 points. To the Philadelphia Eagles but this week I think they buckled down the vision matchup back home versus the Patriots and I got them at five number six the Buffalo Bills so the Buffalo Bills their defense last week a lot of laps and, and a lot of bad secondary play towards the end of that game to lose in the closing seconds versus the New England Patriots so this week versus Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Thursday night football usually I know these games are high scoring on Thursday night for both teams. But I think this Buffalo Bill team, they're going to get back on track. And they got to start getting off to early starts as well on offense. But I think this defense is going to set the tone in this one. Because like I said, Baker's been playing good football better this season, no doubt about it. But I still think they could get to him. Rashad White, he's not running the football efficient this season. I go Godwin and Evans have had good seasons. But I think Buffalo in this one home game Thursday night football, they come out and they set the tone early. And their defense starts to tee off. And they'll get a few turnovers on Baker as well, I think. Number seven, the Los Angeles Chargers. So the Chargers, last week, obviously, Mahomes, he had a throwing party on them, going over 400 yards in that game and three touchdowns. But this week, the Chargers team is rookie Tyson Begnett coming to town Monday night football into Los Angeles. So this Chargers defensive line led by Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. We know they get to the quarterback. We know they get sacks. We know a few weeks ago they had some good games versus the Dallas Cowboys was his charge of defense. A few weeks ago, they had a huge game versus the Vegas Raiders where Khalil Mack had six sacks in that game in week four. So right now, this week here, versus a bad bear offense that gives up the third most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. I think they bounce back in this one here on Sunday Night Football. And I got him at seven, number eight, the Detroit Lions. So the Detroit Lions, obviously, last week, they got blown out in that game by Lamar Jackson and that Baltimore Ravens team. Right out of the gate, it was 14-0. And there was no turning back, but this week, Monday Night Football versus a Raider team with a bad offensive line. Most likely, Hoy or Aiden O'Donnell, a quarterback, this line team in Hutchinson. I think early and often, they're going to get pressure on the week. So right now, I think this Lion team bounces back in this one 
after getting embarrassed. And they start with the defense in this game. And I got them at eight. Number nine, the San Francisco 49ers. So the Niners, I know, is one of the better units in the league. But we saw Kirk Cousins without Justin Jefferson last week carve them up and have a nice fantasy day. So right now, this 49er team versus another pretty solid offense. Joe Burrow, who's going to be close to 100%. And possibly the healthiest he's been all season here is Burrow going into this game in terms of the regular season jamar chase he's been putting on monster games over the last few weeks before the bye week and right now this could be a mini shootout over there in san francisco so this week here with all those factors and the 49ers the blueprints out a little bit you just got to spread them out and try to throw and spread the field on them i got them in line number 10 the pittsburgh steelers so this Steelers team we know they're led by tj watt minka fitzpatrick in the secondary and they get to the quarterback and they win a lot of grinded out mid-teens, low 20 type of game. So this week here versus the Jacksonville Jaguars coming to town. I think we could see a little bit more of the same with this Jaguar team. We know their offense is solid, but at times it has periods where they were in a slump and really can't get it going. So I think the main focus for Pittsburgh is going to start come out of the gate, try to stop Travis Etienne, and have Trevor Lawrence try to beat him. I know Lawrence has been decent this season, but he really hasn't put up those elite numbers and they do got great weapons in the past game Calvin Ridley even though the last three weeks he's been non-existent you got Christian Kirk who's been solid Evan Ingram in that and Zay Jones if he comes back in this game but I think this deal with team home game stout defense grind it out type of game where I could see in the mid-teens low 20s I got him at 10 number 11 the Dallas Cowboys so the Cowboys we know they've been a turnover defense this season we know they sacked the quarterback when Michael Parsons leading the way and Demarcus Lawrence is there, the good pass rusher. But this week here, I think this Ram team is going to spread them out as well and give them problems a little bit with Cooper Cup and the Kua, two dynamic wide receivers that can run all the routes and great possession wide receivers. So this week here, I still think the Cowboys will get a few sacks in this game on Matthew Stafford. He's obviously been a crash test dummy throughout his career, taking big hits and sacks and also maybe a few turnovers. But like I said, this could be a mini shootout over there in Dallas. They got great weapons on the offense, especially in Nakua and Cooper Cup. And I got them at 11 in the 12th and final defense. DST, I'm ranking the Atlanta Falcons. So this Atlanta Falcon team, you want to talk about a team holding teams down in the mid-teens, low 20s. This Falcon team has done it this season with a solid secondary and a good linebacking crew. So this Tennessee Titan offense, we don't know who's going to start at quarterback. If it's going to be Ryan Tannehill, Malik Willis in this one, or they're going to go with Levis. But either way... They haven't been moving the football all season unless it's been Derrick Henry. And I think this Falcon team, they're going to sell out against the run. And they've been solid versus the run as well. Where this Falcon team, even last week, versus a pretty solid offense in Tampa Bay, Rashad White, he didn't even run for three yards of carry. And besides that one big grab by Mike Evans, they held that offense down to 13 points. So this week with a decent matchup versus Tennessee. I got him at 12. And this week, a lot of good defense of matchups. It was tough to keep a few teams off the list but with every team playing this is the top 12 defense dst rankings for week eight of the fantasy football season